What is up guys? My name is AR and welcome back to Little Misfortune. This time we've escaped the sewer caves and now we're in the middle of the street with missing children posters and birds everywhere. I don't know why. Nothing over this way? Nope. Okay. And we ended the episode last time on that, basically. Everyone's wearing masks. And I've frozen. Oh. Look, there we go. A missing kid. Missing kid, you say? Okay. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. I hope my recording Bye. didn't break. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Okay. Really? Yes. YOLO. Right, um. <laughs> Everyone is wearing. Hello. That was the missing girl. I wasn't controlling her that entire time. I just want to point that out. I, I wasn't con- Hi? Are you going to murder me? No, you're not. What is going on? Ugh, smells like bullcrap. Bullcrap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That was weird. First the game stopped responding, and then she just carried on walking on her own. A unis like the- Ah ha ha ha. Very clever. Very clever, misfortune. That dude has a great voice. Oh, wow. It says kill Monday games on the wall. That is cool. Phantasmagoria. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome. Really? Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? What? Who knows? Probably what? you know what? because you I first still think you bad first. person then we'll see all right words I can't wait. <laughs> uh, Look, Benjamin. Benjamin you hospital. children Hello. hide your child hide hide your children or something I'm available don't engage with that wild fox I told you foxes are dangerous let me handle this <laughs> Hi, Benjamin. Bendy, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Bendy, don't go! Don't Let go! Let wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to uh, I feel oh, like wow. you're the one who's going to be doing bad stuff to me. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. That's the thing seen. following so me. Personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't That's mean the thing like that's that. following huh. me. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Oh, right. I forgot about a shadan. Oh, does that mean I could do it by the... Here? No? Maybe by the missing poster? Ta-da. Nope. Okay. A little run cycle looks like she's just the most unfit person on this planet. Look at her face. Okay. Fall Kids Park. Are we going to the park? Yes. <gasps> okay. We are? I love the park. Not for the so done, you <laughs> What? Language. Ah. Ah. Pfft. ah pfft. I always unexpected. Okay. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal Good happiness? Good question. Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. Um, you know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boy! <laughs> oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mommy proud. Yes. 
Do you not notice the birds falling around you? Do you not? I noticed it. Ah, the park. Okay. So I, I think, like, judging by the the language that's on the signs and everything, I guess, like, Swedish, maybe? It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. Swedish signs and stuff? I don't know. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the Really? Page. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and... Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Uh, yes, I actually do. Yeah, listen to this one. Both hang <laughs> too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune. Balls hanging Let's too go. low. All right. No signature. What the heck is that? Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's Kevin's Who's dad? dad? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. It's not the only thing he did with a stick. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo, my fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. But I guess he's that just maybe gonna that eat it. A fair thing to maybe do. I guess. But he's uh, fine. You know what? Fine. Fine. I'll give him the fit. I hope <laughs> that it brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Was it really? Yep. That's what I thought was gonna happen. What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now. Wasn't he of always course. dead? Seagulls love eating. You took him out of water. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I no, it's so. not. No. Can Can you please pick up? Yeah, throw it at him again. I'll bury him later. No, yeet it. Casual yeet. Fine. Shadan. No. Okay. I keep forgetting I can do that. A shadan. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Yes. More than anything. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. You're a little lady. Is it wait, is mean, this how she dies? Horse. I horsey, stop it. Oh. <laughs> 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 That was a misfortune. Right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Yes. Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So How? You know what I mean. Hmm. How did you break your... I can't move. There we go. Shadan. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. Duck you is know, weeding. Duck is 420 know, blazing it. Could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Oh, so break out those go. sweet dance moves. Yeah. Dance moves? Hell to the air. Of course. Check this out. Sweet, sweet dance moves. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. <laughs> that was normal. Oh, if you say so. She's used to daddy smoking 420 blazing it. In the basement, apparently. <gasps> Can we ride this? It's like a tornado. I don't know if I should. Hell yes, I'm gonna. Uh, Misfortune is just gonna yeah, die I from everything that I. Every choice that I make. Oh, hey, uh, a, a doll. Oh, no. Don't laugh at me. Don't make fun of me. A doll. Hello. Number two. 
when the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashed against the stone. The I naked. read it already, Miss <laughs> Fortune. When the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Whatever that means. Apple pie. What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. See, she doesn't tell him about certain things. She doesn't tell him that she can actually see the dead people or anything like that. She doesn't tell him about the dolls. Hi, creepy lady. This looks like the That's a creepy mask. Benjamin, don't you think? Indeed. I think it's garbage. And it should be erased with fire. Really? <laughs> I see great potential With fire. Here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. Mm. The mm. prize is closer than you think. Mm. Mm. Really? All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. These drawings really make me think that you're the bad guy. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly, my friend. Like the movie I'm Pet Cemetery? I feel the same way. <laughs> like the movie Pet Cemetery? What? We're gonna get haunted and stuff? What's happened? What's gonna so, happen? Okay. I was thinking. Let's just go. Walking. Why not? Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. Okay. Hi. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? She probably has. I mean, who hasn't in their life? I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I thought you were going to say like I a pen so or something. I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? She's always happy. Let's be honest. She's always happy. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, I'm still the sad for the dog from the last episode. Uh, you see, this is tough. Because she doesn't really... She doesn't know how to portray her feelings. So, I don't think she actually knows what she's actually feeling. Like, is she being loved? She could be, but she doesn't feel it, so... I'm gonna say no. No, that's why I like my Stoney so much. He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're you see, I said no Look, for that because... Yeah, cemetery. she's got her parents. Her parents probably love her. But she doesn't know how to portray and how to actually feel emotion so she probably doesn't know what that feeling is and more missing poster more missing children posters oh shake this out more kids are missing if i go missing how will i tell mommy you won't go missing we'll go back home right after we find the prize ah okay nice would you believe me if I said we've seen both of these people already? The first one we saw when we just entered the city, when we first saw the first missing children poster. The second one we saw in Ms. Fortune's diary. That there is Hiro. Except he's not wearing his alien mask. And, oh, it makes so much sense. Ready to find the prize of eternal like, happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. Why? I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is the buried. The hell is that supposed to mean? The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. <laughs> Yikes no, forever. Use the shovel. What's this shovel? shovel. This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing from these missing poster things and her seeing the ghosts and things, I think it's all a warning telling her that they've done this, this game. Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> 
No. It's like all these missing children and these ghosts that she sees, they all did maybe this exact same thing that she's doing, trying to find eternal happiness. And they found it, which wasn't actually eternal happiness, it was just death for them. And whatever this creature that's following me is the thing that's taking their lives or something. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu. No, it says Pug. To ever strangle a man. <laughs> I don't think I want to open that one. No, I don't think this is the fish. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Maybe we can dig that one up after- No, uh, I'm joking. This is obviously a cat. Obviously. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in pool. Ew, yikes forever. Nah, I don't think so. No. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the map. Nope. Never saw that window coming. Ha. Huh. I don't know. Oh, care. poor birdie. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. Uh, there's an empty grave. Is this it? Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? Get in it? Oh, bury Rodrigo. I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. Aww. Uh -huh. That was beautiful. Thank you. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. It might be a cat. I'll come back to it. Nah, too little Let's see if there's anything else further on. Where are you going? Okay, the so it's enough. The are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm such a rude little lady. Let's get I think him. you actually digging the graves makes you it's a rude little lady. Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Alright, take it. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. Yay! Really? Yes! You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay, exciting. I well, stole your prize, eternal happiness, Benjamin. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. It did what? It. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Poor misfortune. Can I not open these other... Oh. But what about confessions of a cat? What about it? Um, where do I go? <laughs> she was just standing off screen. Hi, birdies. You creepy little birdies. Following me everywhere I go. Goodbye, Rodrigo. <gasps> Look, there Benjamin. he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Not cool, man. Okay, on, is Benjamin. he the bad? Like my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. I, I honest... Okay, another one. Number three, we are on track right now. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. These have children to be. Pain? Oh. Did 
Did you find something? That probably watching? relates to all the ghosts that I've seen, all the children that went missing and things like that. But I'm going to leave this episode here because it's been around like 20-ish minutes. So thank you so much for watching. We'll continue this in the next episode. Why did Benjamin steal our eternal happiness? Is he protecting us? Is he the bad one? Is this all going to lead up to some sort of thing where... I don't know, like... Maybe the voice is evil, but Benjamin is also evil. Or, I don't know, I, I need more information to process these theories. But thank, uh, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, we'll see what happens in the next video. And until next time, game on.